Hello everybody, it's Techno here. Today I'm going to show you how to find Groudon in Pokemon Emerald version. You can start off by flying to Fortree City, and there's one thing you need before you do this, and that's that you need to have seen the credits roll at least once. You can check your trainer card to see if you have a Hall of Fame debut stamp on there. And if you do, you're good to go. From the Pokemon Center in Fortree City, make your way to the left at Route 119 and cross the bridge over here that leads you into the Weather Institute. Once you're inside, you can find a staircase in the upper right-hand corner that leads you to the second floor, and on the second floor, you will find a meteorologist who studies weather across Hoenn. He's going to notice any oddities, and he will tell you about this. And if he mentions heavy rainfall like he is doing here in the video, that's not what you want. We're here for Groudon. We need a drought. So if he says heavy rainfall like that, what you want to do is literally just walk away from him um, and go all the way downstairs like so. It's a little slow because you can't run in the buildings in Gen 3. You go downstairs and go right back upstairs. That's all it takes to reset the next weather. It very well possibly might be a heavy rainfall again, but if you're lucky, it will say a drought. And it will tell you one of four separate routes that the drought is in. In each route, there are two locations that Groudon can be in, which means there are eight separate spots that Groudon can appear. I'm going to show you all eight of them in this video. If he says Route 114, you can fly on over to Fall Arbor Town. You're going to need a Pokemon that can use Waterfall. From the Pokemon Center, make your way to the left into Route 114, and before this bridge over here, you can find a small skinny pathway on the left, and surf, and then use Waterfall to find over here in the corner. Right here, there will be a door if this is your uh, selected location. If there is not a door, there is still one more location in Route 114. You can hop back on the ground and go down this bridge and go straight all the way down until you get to the White Rock territory over here. And you can go up this small staircase and over here you'll find on the left an entrance to a cave here. That's the Terra Cave. If it's not there, then it's the other one. Now, if the guy mentions you uh, that it's in Route 118, then you want to fly on over to Mauville City. And from Mauville City, you can make your way to the right. You're only going to need a Pokemon that can surf here. The first location of the Terra Cave can be right, right here, right next to Mauville. Super easy to get to. If it's not there, then the other location in Route 118 is actually going to be across the river. And uh, if you want to go down and past the... Uh, ledges over here and turn around the other location would be right here now if you did if you mentions route 115 the easiest way to get there is to fly on over to Rustboro city and from the pokemon center here you want to go to the right and go all the way up and keep going until you exit the city's limits over here in the grass section, you'll find a small beach. You can see the drought kicked in, and that's, uh, that's a good sign. In this beach area, you can go ahead and surf upward. And you want to kind of go to the left side, and you're looking for this small little beach that you can board right here with the little staircase on it. From there, you can make your way up through the forest um, and go all the way up to the top. Now, there again, there are two entrances here, two potential entrances. One of them is going to be right here. If it is not right here, then the next one you're going to need the mock bike for, unfortunately. So hop on your mock bike and go up this mudslide like that, and then you'll see the other entrance is located over here. Now lastly, if he mentions that the location of the Terra Cave is in Route 116, then you want to get it by flying over to Burden Turf Town. From the Pokemon Center, you can make your way into the Rust Turf Tunnel. From the inside, you can go immediately left and go through this exit. This is a nice little dead end area of the Rust Turf Tunnel, and over here on this top portion right here you should find an entrance, and if it's not there, then there's only one other location left. In fact, you can see it on screen right now, Ooh, over there in the lower left hand corner, do you see it? You can go back in the tunnel to get there, go up this time, and go to the left. If you haven't rock smashed the rock right here, you will have to right here. It's mandatory to get strength anyway, so it's a good idea to just do that. And then you can go through the exit over here from the beginning of the game, and you'll find uh, this little skinny pathway that leads you to the Terra Cave. Might be blocked by next special if you haven't picked it up yet. Inside the Terra Cave, now that we finally got to uh, cover all eight locations, it's very simple from that point onward. You can just walk inside and find the door in the upper right hand corner, and then in this next room you'll find the Hazy Room. With the lava in the center, this is where Groudon uh, resides. You're going to want to save 
do not get close to Groudon because it will auto-trigger a battle. So you're going to want to save here. You can actually save right here. This is the best spot to save. But do not walk one step closer without saving. It's very risky. Because if you KO Groudon, he will never return. So once you step close to that lava puddle, he will grant it will gradually uh, glide towards you and challenge you to a battle. It is very high leveled and it is very strong. So you're going to have a hard time. Make sure you're prepared for that. Uh, unlike me in the video here, I am very unprepared. And it does know pretty strong moves uh, that case in par with the ability here, like Drought. It knows Fire Blast. It also knows Fisher. It's a one-hit KO move. And uh, frustratingly enough, it knows Rest, so it will heal itself, as well as Solar Beam, which which goes uh, goes good with the the Drought Sun. So anyways, that's how you find Groudon and catch it in Pokemon Emerald version. And of course, if you're interested in more free of fluff video guides like this one, go ahead and click the playlist that's on screen now. I hope you enjoyed and Technos out.